that time to bring in our friend, Dr. Mary Gillis, joining us now. And you know how we feel about challenges and health. So you're kicking off a 10-day challenge, it seems like, our friend. Today? Today is the day today. today. Yes. So I know about you guys. Like you said, I was like a good challenge. So. Yes. But I also want to think of it more as like an adventure and a journey. And mm -hmm. I hope that people will join on. But it, it first requires a little bit of a backstory. Okay. So I had done a story about two weeks ago. A survey had come out that Indiana, Indianapolis, is considered one of the most um, stressful cities that uh, in, in in the yes. out of 25 major cities surveyed. So you know, polls are strange. They're weird. One poll would say something. The other poll could say something else. Mm -hmm. um, uh, however, I don't think we need polls to tell us that we're all stressed out right now, right? Right. right. Um, okay, so this article got me thinking about the second law of thermodynamics. So this was researched by mathematicians and physicists back in the 1800s, and I had a professor explain this to me. First, okay, thermo is uh, her, thermo is heat, dynamics is movement, but it also applies to life. So here's what uh, he said: If you are not actively maintaining homeostasis, which is balance. Everything is geared towards chaos. This is called entropy. It's a law of nature. So guys, let me ask you this question. If you have a hot cup of coffee and you do not keep it hot, what happens? It gets warm and it Wet. gets out. Cold. Gets cold. Yeah. Entropy. There we go. We're not maintaining a hot cup of coffee. It's going to get cold. Like balance in our lives. I always think of my life as like, uh, you know, four legs to a table. Once one is off, you know, it's That's not going to be level. It. I always think about that. So it, I always have to come back and get aligned. I'm a super, yeah. I'm, I'm very into alignment. I get it. I get it. So, um, all right. So one of the things I'm really interested in is chronic disease prevention. So here's another example. If we're not actively preventing a heart attack, we're geared towards having a heart attack. We don't want to have to see a neurologist because once we've had a stroke, by that time, the damage is done. You want to prevent the stroke. So how does this apply to stress? Well, there's a lot of talk about coping with stress, managing stress. But by the time you get there, at least this is how I see it, it's too late. You're already in the depths and the throes and the trenches of it. So anything you can do to prevent that law of nature, entropy, meaning things if things are not kept in balance, it will turn towards chaos. Um, and the world is so unpredictable. If you can do something that you control, um, it, just try to do it. So I'm asking you both, Alexis McKinsey, to join me on a 10-day journey. Okay. And you guys, uh, too, here in the audience, please. Um, these are just things that I do to keep myself in a state of mind so I can get up every morning and uh, Make it a good one. So we have a clue of what the first challenge is. So I don't know if we have that on the screen. Oh, okay, that's my uh, nightstand. All right, so the, this is something that has to do with the first thing I do when I get up in the morning. So what you can do right now is head to my Facebook page as a video explaining what exactly that is. And uh, it's just interesting because over these next couple of days, I think um, we'll be talking about some surprising things. But uh, again, then uh, this is all scientifically based. And then you click puntawishtv.com. There's an article, this stuff is evidence-based. And mm. it was kind of reverse. I knew these things to help me, but then I went back to the literature and I'm like, right. oh my gosh, they can help other people too. Connect. <laughs> we all can be connected and balanced, and you know yes. we love balance. Oh, guys, yes. well, please I join me. I have a guess me. what that is. I'm sorry? I have a guess what that is. Do you? But I won't give it. I'll, I okay, can no. wait. Okay. I can wait. It's something up. I practice as well every single morning when I wake up. I love it. Good stuff. All right. Thank you both. Thanks so much, oh, guys. Oh, man, we love to see it. <laughs> that was great. And I think we're going to uh, check in with the weather next. I know. Look, we're all mellow now. Yeah, Actually, now chill. balance is the name of the game for what you do. We're always excited about the balance of your predictions. Well, here's the thing. Now, now, I find forecasting very relaxing, and forecasting this weather, a little not so relaxing. <laughs> Here's why. When I'm forecasting, I can figure out what's going on, right? We can actually tell you when it's going to happen, where it's going to happen, but not with summer. See, summer is unusual because heat and humidity build, and you can spark a shower or storm at any point, which can be stressful.